Yo, run done. Let's just do the talk outside. There's, let me pause my music. There is a beautiful sunrise. I don't know if we can see it. It gets up very good on the GoPro. But anyways, a beautiful sunrise. Not a lot of wind, not a lot of traffic. It's so pretty early in the morning. Let's just do the talk now. Seven miles, uh, 725 per mile. So hitting the pace, the pace target was just uh, seven and a half minutes per mile and Let's see, temperature is kind of like 34 degrees, I think, when I started. True temp, or not true temp, wind chill of 30. The goal of today's run was just to get some like quality, get a quality session in. And we did that. And then see how the body felt. Kind of do like a systems check because we're still in the marathon recovery. And the body feels good. There's some tightness in the bottom left uh, uh, calf, kind of tied into the Achilles. I'm not terribly surprised by that. I had tightness in that after the marathon, so no big news there. Just means a little bit more rest, a little bit more recovery, which basically the rest of this week are easy runs. And then next week, we'll pick up with uh, like two quality sessions, two workouts per week, plus a long run. So good things there. <clears throat> Some decisions have been made. Not necessarily for the pace. The Shamrock Shuffle we're gonna run with the wife so we're not going to race that extremely hard i mean we're going to put in a good time but you know it's not an all-out race the st louis go not sure yet if we're going to go like actually try to race the half marathon or just run it with family because i have family there the third option is running it solo but taking a camera with me on the course and in that situation it wouldn't be like an all-out race it would be uh, something kind of in between right running hard but for me, I definitely lose time while holding a camera for the whole run. So that's the second option. Um, so those decisions haven't been made yet, like what I'm gonna do, I'm about to go. What has been made is I'm going to the Mo Cowbell Marathon in October, it's St. Charles, Missouri. It's a very flat course. The field is not always terribly fast. It depends on the year. That seems to kind of be a, a trend in St. Louis running as I look past the, like at these past uh, event results. Some years, fields are very fast. Other years, they're not terribly fast. It's so like some years, um, like a three hour marathon would put you in like top five, top three of the cowbell. And then other years, you know, you'd be like in the hot, like a hundred or something like that. So um, we'll just have to see how, what field shows up, see how many people are running with. But I decided to run the Mo Cowbell as my next marathon for a few reasons. One, I wanted something later in the year, so the schedule worked out. I need a little bit of time to kind of reset the body. <clears throat> so after the St. Louis go, we're gonna reset, and then I have time to like almost a month for like easy running, cross training, that sort of stuff before jumping into a full training block for the Mo Cowbell. So schedule worked out. Two, location. Like I consider St. Louis my hometown. 
St. Charles is pretty close to St. Louis, so I can kind of it's kind of like a hometown race. The actual hometown race would be the St. Louis Go Marathon, and this year we're doing the half, not the full, and the St. Louis goes in the spring. So anyway, um, it's a fall race kind of in what I consider my hometown area. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, three, the course is very flat. A lot of it tracks kind of with the Missouri River Basin, um, the Missouri River itself, and there's a trail on the side, and the course tracks it. So very flat, conducive to fast times. Um, and then the other one is, you know, races can be expensive, right? Like it's not uncommon for races to be 150, 160, $200 for an entry fee. The MoCal Bell uh, right now, I think the price just went up because they had their first price increase date. But I got it in the earliest window for less, for like 80 bucks. Might've been less than 80 bucks. I have to check the receipt. So it's nice to save some money some point in time. I was supposed to do this race. This race was supposed to be my first, first ever well, half marathon. I wasn't gonna do the full marathon, but it's supposed to be my first ever distance race. And that was like in the COVID mess. So never got to run it. I'm excited to remedy that and, you know, just go from there. <clears throat> so big scheme. I'm gonna train like I'm gonna race, like hard race the St. Louis Go half. Um, whether I truly race that or not is to be determined, but I'm gonna be prepared to do so. And then after that, we're gonna have a, about a month of easy running, cross training. I have some other projects like life projects that I have up my sleeve that we're working on. Um, and then we're gonna jump back into a, like a legitimate, gonna push it to the next level training block for uh, the Go Cowbell. The Mo Cowbell, sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, Thanks for watching the end of the video. Just a nice, easy, um, I shouldn't say easy, a nice smooth seven miles this morning. And it's so good. It's so, so good to be back on the trails because up until really this week, they were still either snow, light pack or ice in many places. Right now there's just a couple little patches here and there. It's, it's wonderful. I like my neighborhood. I was getting tired of just running circles around around the streets and sidewalks in my neighborhood so it's really nice to be able to get back out on the trails love it and you get to see the sunrise much better it's just a, a phenomenal thing anyways i'll talk to you later bye